This is the Raspberry Pi 2. It is almost identical to the Raspberry Pi B Plus that came out a few months ago, apart from the fact that it, is, it has had a massive performance increase, mainly in the CPU and in the memory area. Now this is on sale now, it came out a couple of days ago, and it is still at that $35 price range. Um, it has got a um, 900 megahertz quad core processor, giving it around about three and a half gig of process six times the performance benefit it's got one gig of SD RAM which is twice the size it's completely and utterly compatible with the all of the original Raspberry Pi 1 features so none of your code none of your extra add-on boards are gonna have to be swapped out they will all continue to work and now it's got an ARM v7 chip in it it should be able to run Ubuntu and also Windows 10 Microsoft has said that they're going to support the Pi which will be really interesting to see what they do there I'm not sure if I quite agree with that um, having Windows on a Pi it's a Linux device but it's gonna be interesting to see what um, they add to the mix in this um, this market now you can see on the bottom there we have that extra chip on the bottom that's the extra um, 512 mega RAM they've somehow managed to stick it on the bottom underneath the chip now, when you see the performance upgrade, you can see you've got the four raspberries up the top there, which shows one for each core of the system. And you can see there is a significant performance increase when this um, system boots. I have found that it has made the GUI and um, things like XBMC, uh, Media Player, to be phenomenally different in performance. I mean, it really is that six times performance that you expect. It's not just tech spec, it works incredibly, incredibly well. It's incredibly fast. And that's really great to see. I'm not going to spend a lot of time going over the technical specifications and all the performance increase because actually a buddy of mine, um, Alex Eames, over at Raspberry TV has been spending the last couple of days um, with one of these, a bit earlier than I did, lucky guy. And he's done some fantastic reviews. So click on the link there in the video and it would be best if you go over and watch what he's done because he's done some fantastic information about power consumption and CPU power. So I'd recommend that um, anyone who's a big Pi fan goes out and grabs one of these there. It's a really significant improvement in performance and will stop a lot of those trolls over the years who have said that the Pi has been a bit too slow. It really makes a big difference. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoy that. If you like what I do, follow me on Facebook, follow me on Twitter and subscribe to the YouTube channel. Cheers, guys.